What's up, everybody? It's Jack Clubs Painting here with a brand new video. Happy 2021. Hope you all had a nice holiday season. It's been a while since I've been here, but we're kicking off 2021 with a bunch of brand new content. And I'm doing a little bit of a different video. Uh, I haven't done many review videos in the past, but uh, I picked up this brand new Pro Acryl Primer from Monument Hobbies, and I wanted to do a little bit of review and um, I'm recording this not so edited, not, not, very, not very edited, not very produced, just because I wanna speak off the cuff and I wanna speak naturally during this review process. So I picked up three of these primers. I got the black, white, and the dark neutral gray. There's five in total. They also have a dark camo green and a black brown over on monumenthobbies.com and I'll have a, a link for that website down below. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about these, kind of show them off, show how they run through the airbrush. Got a really cool model that we're gonna be priming up with Appreciate. And uh, that model is also going to be the first painting project of 2021 here on the channel. And we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, um, just initially, you know, no BS. I like these primers, they're really good. Um, right now, it's kind of a 50-50 between Pro Acryl and Steinol Res, but they are really good, right? Um, I know Steinol Res, you can't get everywhere. It's a little hard to find. And I have noticed that a lot of people have told me recently that Steinol Res has had some uh, quality control issues. And I totally understand if I endorse a product, then you buy it and the, uh, the bottle was skunked in transit or it's been in a storage container for too long or something like, I get it, that's infuriating. Um, so what I can tell you is the Pro Acryl, they run a tight ship. They have amazing quality control. It's a family enterprise. And um, yeah, let's get to the painting. So I've got the black primer in the airbrush here. Uh, I'm gonna start off with that, like I start many projects. And here's our model. This is a brand new Demon Prince, Nurgle, Flyman, Demon Prince guy. He's super cool. Love them Saturnine shoulder pads. It's from Pop Goes the Monkey. You've uh, probably heard us talk about them before over on the Long War. And um, we're going to prime this dude. I'm going to start off with the black primer. And you've seen me do this before, but we're just going to go over it again. Anytime that I work with resin or metal, I'm going to start with a light dusting of the primer kind of all over the model to set it up. Because sometimes if you just go ham out the gate on resin or metal, you're not going to get a very good bond with the primer. So I'm just gonna go back and forth, some light passes with the airbrush, just work in that trigger to do light little bursts of air and dust all over the model. And then once I kind of get that all over, that's what I'm gonna start doing an opaque coat over the whole thing. Especially with metal models, you wanna be careful. Um, in the past, if you don't kind of set it up for a good primer coat, the primer can just not want to stick to the metal. I don't know how else to describe it, but once I get to that step, then I'm going to do a full opaque coat of the primer. And just like with all airbrushing, you know, like when you're, when you're doing your primary coats or your, your base coats, uh, it, if you see anywhere that starts to get shiny with wetness, move on to a different spot. That, that means that that has enough paint for right now. If it uh, ends up drying and it's too thin, you can always do another pass over it. But what you don't want to do is keep spraying paint until it's, you know, super wet on there. Because what can happen is the air from the airbrush can actually push that wet paint around if there's too much of it. Then you get what we call spider webbing or um, air bubbles and weirdness on the model. You don't want that. It's really bad. I can say that uh, the black primer is very comparable to what I've used with uh, Steinol Res. I would say it is definitely better than Vallejo. Um, I've talked about how I dislike Vallejo primers on the channel before, but uh, I won't I won't poo poo on them too much. But yeah, I don't like Vallejo. I think it's thick and goopy, and it doesn't work, and it peels uh, sometimes, and I don't like it. So. Uh, the review for the black primer is, it is great. I really like it. It has super good consistency. Um, it has a slightly longer uh, setting time 
than Sinal Res, which can be a good thing because it means that you won't have it dry up around the edge of your uh, airbrush cup very fast, uh, but very comparable. Um, if you know, if I could only have one primer uh, on a desert island and I had to choose between Steinal Res and Pro Curl Primer Black, uh, it'd be a tough choice. They're they're almost the same, but uh, at this point in time, I think the Pro Curl slightly edges it out just because of the uh, more ironclad quality control. And um, I think it's slightly cheaper. Uh, the last time I bought a bottle of the same size of Steinal Res, I think I paid $16 and Pro Curl Prime is $14. So not really that much, you know, it's not gonna break the bank, that, that $2 or whatever, but sometimes that can, uh, that can be the thing that makes people wanna try it out. So yeah, it's, it's 14 compared to uh, 16. That's what I paid for it last time on Amazon. That price may have fluctuated. Who knows? But that's just last time I bought any Steinal Res, that's what I paid for it. Um, we're moving on to the dark neutral gray primer. Uh, it's a great gray primer. Uh, goes on just as good as the black primer. Works great. Um, I've had mixed results with Steinal Res gray, which is why I don't use it very much. Um, the one primer that I've had the most trouble with is the white primer, but the gray primer has been hit or miss. Like um, that anecdote about Steinal Res bottles sometimes being skunked in the shipping process, like that has happened to me before with the gray primer. So I tend to just not want to mess with it. But again, the Pro Acryl stuff has a they run a tight ship, so I imagine they're not going to have any bad bottles of primer out there. And then the white primer, I got to say, was the most surprising because uh, one thing I've talked about in the past is that white paint in general is really hard to do with acrylics like this. Um, and you almost always have to add some form of uh, medium or flow improver to get them to spray smoothly without speckling. And this white primer is really good. I would say the only white primer that I've used that is better than this is Allclad. And Allclad's a lacquer-based product. So it's a whole different different thing. Like, you know, it's it's like a more chemical paint. It's got a nasty smell to it. You gotta wear a mask. Um, you have to use like a special solvent to be able to clean it out, all that kind of stuff. So meh. Um, but it, it is really nice. But if you wanna stick to acrylic products, I would say right now, having used basically all of the major, you know, big name primers that are out there for painting models, Pro Acryl White Primer is the best white primer I've used. Um, it sprays super smooth. I did not have to put any medium in it. It did not really speckle. Um, at some point, I do do a close up where I show like, oh yeah, I don't think it's gonna speckle that much. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's great. Like, I don't really know how else to extol the virtues of this paint other than like, it, it is really good. Objectively, it's really good. Uh, I do not like Steinal Res White. I don't use it. Um, I don't use Vallejo White because it's even worse. So now that I have this product, this Pro Acryl White, um, I'm probably gonna start doing a lot more appreciating with white in there. Because in the past, I would just use bold titanium white or I just wouldn't do pre-shades. I would paint a, uh, my colors up in a different method, but this stuff is really awesome. So I'm kind of excited to get to use it on a bunch of products. And yeah, that's about all I got. Like it's, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse. It's, it's really good stuff. I'm glad that I bought it. Um, I'm going to be using it for a lot of our upcoming projects on Twitch and here on YouTube. Um, mostly because I ran out of my Steinal Res, so I was like, well, I'm running out. I'm going to pick up this Pro Acryl stuff, see if it's any good. And yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's really nice. And I thoroughly recommend it. Just one more time, I will have a link below for the Monument Hobbies web store and also the Pop Goes the Monkey web store because this model, this Demon Prince, is going to be the first painting project of 2021. I'm really excited to get some paint on it and show you that video. So check back later this week. I'm going to have that for you. All right. I'll catch you next time.